All right, guys. So we're gonna um, we're gonna bore this, or actually ream this uh, this bore here. Um, it's been distorted from all the welding uh, that we did on it, so we need to fit it to the uh, uh, the moving jaw part. So we're gonna hold it in the four jaw. So this is kind of an interesting uh, holding problem there, which is cool. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is so we can indicate it. Um, we're going to use an expanding mandrel here, okay? And for those of you that haven't seen these, they're, it's kind of like a spring that's on, that goes on a taper, and then they, it expands as you shove it up the taper there. So let's uh, put that in there, and then we'll just kind of. And what this will do is this kind of this kind of finds the the average of what's there, right? And that's okay. That's what we're going to. Um, so we'll put a center in that, and then uh, we'll we'll indicate uh, against this to get this thing trued up, okay? And um, so, or at least that's the uh, that's the uh, the theory, okay? Um, and then our buddy uh, uh, Abom79 sent me um, or loaned me a uh, a nice reamer here. This is an inch and an eighth reamer. Morse uh, spiral flute because we have a keyway in that okay so this bridges that keyway and doesn't catch in the keyway um, I asked him if he had one he said yeah I got one never used it and uh, and anyway he sent it out for me to use uh, it doesn't look like this thing's ever been used it's uh, it's it's razor sharp so uh, this ought to work real good and um, so I don't know let's uh, let's get it set up uh, we're gonna open some jaws up here and kind of get going Something like that looks about right oh actually I gotta catch it on the uh, on that pad there All right. this is one of the neat things about four jaws and uh, um, is you can grab some really kind of <laughs> Freaky stuff. Okay. So now, as you can see, we got a little problem here. We're not going to be able to, to reach that. And um, but what my solution is is I got a couple of little copper blocks here that we're gonna we're gonna stick in there. Okay, like so. Let's see. That's the, uh, that's the uh, theory. The oops. The theory there. Uh, let me get the other one going here. I probably should have put the center in this. It probably would have helped hold it up, but too late now. Camera's in the way, everything's in the way, so. Alright, so now we're now we're firming up a little bit there, okay? Kind of get lined up there. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. So I think just looking at it here, I'm gonna come up just a switch. Oops. I got the wrong way there. So I got it roughly clamped here. All right. Uh, I think I'll do a rough indicate, and then uh, put a center in it. And uh, actually, I probably don't even need the center right now. So one thing we have to worry about is is a tip like this. So we'll indicate in a couple places on this uh, mandrel too, to, so we can tell.
All right, so well, here's the problem though, I'm farting around with this a little bit, is because the surfaces that we're grabbing on are not necessarily, so we got a bit of run out there. So this requires some persuasion with a fine adjustment tool. today. So that's the high. There. Yeah, I hit it hit it harder than I uh, than I expect there, so right there. Excuse me, there again. So it's still high there. You know what? This hammer is not. This is not a good hammer. Let's get a real hammer. Let's get this one. This one has a, it's a harder composite, or it's a harder material. So, after screwing around with it for a while, it took a little bit, but uh, it's about as good as I'm going to get it here. It's about two on this. That's right, two. Yeah, about two on this end. And then, oops, when I come down here, make sure I don't come out of the frame. Uh, let's see. Can you guys still see that? I got about two here, so that's about as good as this is going to get. Let me pop this mandrel out and then uh, we'll run the uh, reamer through it. Looser than I want, but um, we don't have the uh, we don't have the key in it yet either. So that's gonna take up some of the uh, the wiggle there. So okay, 
Well, let's get it out of here. Uh, we got to face the bottom, and uh, we got to do some. Uh, um, Do some welding. Uh, uh, so now this is aligned with the bore, so we can put the other jaw on and align it with that jaw. So off we go. All right, guys, ready for some uh, weld assembly here. Um, we're gonna uh, use this first jaw to register the second jaw here. Okay, and how we're gonna do that was. Uh, you guys saw this in uh, one of the last episodes here. It's a little alignment bar. It's got a pin. It's going to go in there, and then that jaw will slip up like that. Then I'll get that in the right, the right spot. Um, now I, I did a little bit of work on this. I took some of the ears off here, just kind of in anticipation of material that I was going to have to remove there. So I was pretty safe doing that. So here's the hard part right now is how do I clamp this when I uh, for tacking in uh, some initial welding, right? So that's kind of what I'm looking at now. And I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use some um, some safety wire, some lock wire. I got some heavy stuff here. This is a little over a millimeter in diameter, and we'll put that around here and crinch it down. Um, and uh, kind of tie these two jaws together in registration with this, okay? Um, you know, uh, this is a handy trick for uh, holding pieces together when, together when you're uh, soldering and uh, doing that kind of stuff. So uh, um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's nick off a piece here. Let's straighten it out. I'm going to just kind of kind of go around like that. Cross it in the back. I got some lineman pliers here out of my plier collection. I'll pull that up a little bit. I could use, uh, you know, tie wire uh, pliers. Now, what I want to do is uh, kind of flatten the wire so that the the tensioning doesn't have to uh, to try to pull it straight. All right, now we can suck it up good. Make sure I haven't drifted out of the frame there. All right. Oh, ouch. Okay, so there's <laughs> there's the other thing is uh, cut this sucker off <laughs> and then bend that down, or else you're just going to kill yourself on those things that are. Uh, they're quite sharp. Okay, so I think that's pretty secure. Um, I can still kind of move this, which is good, and I get the correct positioning, which is pretty close to that right there. Okay, and you can see it meets up real nice right there. We're gonna get a few tacks along there and uh, get this thing going. And look at that, that's a baby bullet if I ever saw one, so. Okay, let me get the welder going.
melted. So I think I got enough in there. It's hotter than Monkey's Uncle right now. And uh, so we'll, uh, we'll let her cool off and then uh, we'll hit it with a file and see if there's any low spots and uh, go from there. Alright guys, so there's after the welding, um, and you see I had to fill in actually some of the, what I machined away initially when I cut that radius. Um, the, the way this jaw was shaped, it, uh, I really had to kind of add some back in, uh, more than I expected, although it wasn't too bad. Um, so you can kind of see it there, what I had to do. and then. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting a kind of hoarse throat here. Um, you can also see the, how the jaws line up now. So we use that little fixture to line it up. And, you know, I can't really see that this moved at all uh, when, I, when I did the welding. So uh, it's kind of not detectable. Now, the best part is I did some filing on the other side. You guys ready to take a look at that? Yeah, I thought so. Check it out. Okay, so there's where we're headed. I'm pretty pleased with the results, how it's coming out. And um, another tricky area here on this little sucker is that little corner right there. That is a, a real challenge right in that area. I spent a fair amount of time in there. Uh, it wasn't quite two albums this time. Uh, it was uh, Audio Slave and uh, I think it was Ozzy Osbourne. So, <laughs> or part of an Ozzy uh, deal. So, uh, anyway, uh, uh, there's where we're headed, guys. And... Uh, I'll do the other side kind of off camera. You guys don't want to watch me file for hours, right? And uh, then we got a little bit more work to do on this and we are really getting close here. I'm stoked. <laughs> 